imagine the day they see you again. And you are just, well, better. Wait up, now who is that fine babe? Hey, pretty princess. Are you talking to me? Are there any other pretty princess? Recreating Brad's outfit. Okay, four-year-old me is screaming right now. So in honor of Bratz leaving a comment on my post, let's take a look at one of my cases. Thrifted little Bratz blanket for decor. Let's get her open. Allow me to introduce you to the Style It line released in 2003, AKA the first Bratz line I ever owned. Please excuse the ladies having a bad hair day. They've been in a box for a really long time, but Dana is still looking beautiful as ever. Next we have Sasha and her beautiful hair. Jade, AKA my first Bratz doll ever. Chloe, Yasmin, Kobe, Cameron, Dylan, and Eaton. Lastly, in this box, we have Cade, who came with the iconic working motorcycle. So cool. Not only are the Bratz simply iconic, they have impacted millions of young girls' lives around the globe. But have you ever wondered, how the heck did Bratz even start in the first place? What's up, beautiful people? My name is Amina Lee, and in my short three-minute breakdown, let's talk about how Bratz even started. If you didn't know when Bratz released in the early 2000s, its main competitor was actually Barbie. The reason why so many people love Bratz dolls is because the dolls are not only diverse, but their fashion and beauty was always on point. Jade, Sasha, Chloe, and Yasmin being the main four girls, who was the person who made these beautiful dolls? His name is Carter Bryan, guys. And when I tell you, he actually has a very inspirational story. So Carter Bryan, as I would say, is someone who was always interested in fashion growing up. He actually attended the Parsons School of Design, but while growing up, he wasn't the most privileged person. But on the other hand, even though he wasn't the most privileged person growing up in life, he always had a love for fashion, like rats. Long story short, because I don't have that much time, he decided to submit his designs to Mattel. And of course, Mattel is the house of Barbie. And without even expecting a call back, Mattel literally called him back for a position to design Barbies. 
And this is his Instagram right here, and he actually talks about some of the Barbies that he designed. Now, even though working for Mattel and just being a part of the iconic Barbie period is something that you can forever put on your resume. But on the other hand, he felt really boxed in. He had so many creative ideas that he wanted to pitch to Mattel, but sadly, they just kept getting denied. The crazy part about all of this is, is that Mattel literally just wanted him to stick to designing traditional Barbies. Nothing out of the box, just straight up traditional Barbies. While still working part-time for Mattel, he decided to go back to his parents' house. And while working part-time at Old Navy, that's why I always say you never know who somebody will become, who you meet in life. Um, he was driving near a group of girls and he noticed how bratty they were and their different personalities. And he was like, you know what? I'm going to design one of the most iconic brands in the world, one of the most iconic dolls, Brat. Of course his eye for fashion designing dolls of course played a part with brats but i read that him seeing these girls definitely inspired him to start brats and according to brats fandom he was also inspired by hip-hop advertisements that he saw relating to fashion the first four original brats characters names were totally different now mattel's competitor mga will end up buying the brats and if you don't know lol surprise dolls that kids are obsessed with yeah they're owned by mga as well Crazy because the CEO of MGA at the time didn't even like the idea of brats, but his daughter thought it was simply cute. This is literally a sign to never give up on your dreams, and if you are a lover of brats, make sure you guys send Carter Bryan some love today because he forever changed the world of fashion and inspired millions of fashion lovers.